November 26, 2024, the French nuclear-powered aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle is departing Toulon for a critical four-month mission, marking a significant step in France's strategic pivot to the Indo-Pacific region. This deployment reflects Paris' increasing emphasis on asserting its influence amid rising geopolitical tensions across the globe, including the Middle East, Europe, and the contested waters of the Indo-Pacific. The mission begins with Charles de Gaulle heading eastward through the Mediterranean, transiting the Red Sea, and eventually reaching the Indo-Pacific. This route underscores the deployment's geopolitical significance, traversing regions of heightened global tension. While specific details of the mission remain classified, its strategic nature hints at operations near critical conflict zones, such as the eastern Mediterranean, where unrest off the coasts of Israel and Lebanon persists. The deployment coincides with escalating global challenges, including conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East, and uncertainties over the United States' long-term commitment to NATO. By undertaking this mission, France is reinforcing its maritime presence in strategically vital regions and asserting its autonomy in global affairs. The Charles de Gaulle leads a formidable carrier strike group, CSG, composed of multi-mission frigates, a nuclear-powered attack submarine, and a replenishment tanker. The Red Sea segment of the mission highlights the choke point's strategic importance and proximity to volatile geopolitical zones. The deployment's Indo-Pacific focus reflects France's aim to balance growing global powers like the United States and China while strengthening partnerships in the region. Commissioned in 2001, the Charles de Gaulle is a cornerstone of French naval power, powered by two K-15 nuclear reactors enabling extended range and prolonged missions. The ship operates with a catabar, catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery system, accommodating advanced aircraft like the Rafale Marine and E-2C Hawkeye. Over its operational lifespan, the carrier has undergone continuous modernization, including reactor refueling and upgrades to combat systems, radar, and missile defenses. These updates ensure its relevance in modern naval warfare, despite the challenges posed by its age. However, as France's sole aircraft carrier, the Charles de Gaulle experiences considerable strain from high operational demands. Its aging design presents limitations, such as less versatile hangar and flight deck capacities compared to newer carriers. While it remains central to France's naval strategy, these constraints emphasize the necessity for its eventual replacement. France's renewed focus on the Indo-Pacific aligns with its broader strategic goals of countering regional instability and increasing influence in a region dominated by U.S.-China competition. The Charles de Gaulle S deployment serves not only as a projection of military strength, but also as a statement of France's commitment to global security. As the Charles de Gaulle embarks on this mission, it highlights the dual nature of France's naval strategy, leveraging its existing assets to maintain a robust global presence while preparing for future modernization. This deployment underscores France's determination to navigate an increasingly complex international landscape and reaffirm its role as a major global power. Thank you.